G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloody swing speed meat hook. So, this thing was originally from the Far Harbor DLC, it's just been ported over into Fallout 4 for just an extra bit of weaponry, I suppose. And it was an okay weapon in that game, but it fell behind in terms of damage when it came to the Power Fist and the Death Claw Gauntlet in Fallout 4. But in Fallout 76, it is quite the opposite if you've got this thing specced in the right way, or rather, the wrong way. You see, the elephant in the room, and most players already sort of know this at this point, this thing is bugged, it's glitched, and then whoever tells you is a god weapon, tell them to fuck off, because it, it really isn't. It's just bugged right now, that's why you get extra damage out of it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about how you can get extra damage out of this, not only from the unarmed perks from Iron Fist, you can actually chuck on Gladiator to get yourself even more damage, so yeah, this thing is very, very broken right now. Just to show you what this thing is like with all unarmed uh, and all Gladiator perks, this thing is doing its itself. 212 damage, which is pretty good. We could get more with Bloody Mess, but showing this off compared to a Power Fist doing 190, yes, we're actually out damaging a Power Fist, and even a Death Claw Gauntlet seems to pale in comparison compared to this. It's not a whole lot of damage difference, but people think it's a god weapon because it does more damage, but let me tell you something. When we remove those perks that actually give it damage, or shouldn't be giving it damage, those gladiator perks, this thing is now sitting at 133 compared to 190 for the Power Fist and 198 for the Death Core Gauntlet. This is where it should be. This is its place, alright? So all of you players and all of you other people who have been spreading misinformation that this thing is actually a god weapon, you're wrong. And for all of those people who have spent heaps of time and resources on obtaining such a weapon, um, well, you're going to be disappointed and probably gonna fucking suck about it on the forums after when Bethesda finally fix this thing to, you know, not be boosted by one-handed weapon perks or melee weapon perks, so, good on you, mate! So, to that end, as a big fuck you to everyone who holds this weapon in some sort of high god tier standard, I'm not going to be using any gladiator perks to boost this thing's damage at all, and hopefully when Bethesda nerfs it, we'll see this thing doing the exact same damage that I show off in this particular video. And also, big fuck you to Bethesda for messing up the keywords. This is something that I could fix in the creation kit in like 5 minutes, and most of that time would be at fucking loading because it's slow. Anyways, let's get started. So, with Bloody Mess and just the unarmed perk, yep, 153 damage, that's quite enough, and that is boosted by the extra hook, which is the only upgrade for this weapon, so, yep, just a bit of extra damage at a cost of weight, nothing too much, but it's good to have that extra damage, I suppose. I also like how it's all wrapped together in barbed wire, I think that's a pretty neat looking thing, very wastelandy weapon. Alrighty, so here we are outside of... Uh, Mutants Plaza, I think I coined that term last time. Here are my buffs, and just a couple of things that I've eaten just to restore my hunger, as I struggled to record that first section, and ooh, my armor's getting in bad condition. But they're all unyielding, which synergizes well. I've said this heaps of times, but Adrenal Reaction, Unyielding, and Bloodied is a very, very powerful combination, so we'll just get started on these muties, and we'll see how we go. Ha! Huh, we couldn't actually one-shot that guy. Also, that was sloppy, I shouldn't have got up and sprinted then. So, with the uh, extra swing speed that we get out of not only the legendary effect, but the uh, effect of martial artist itself, this thing is doing alright. <sighs> I pressed ALT for like one second and it throws a fucking grenade. That's annoying. That's a bug that I haven't touched on before, but sometimes when I press ALT to power attack, it throws a grenade. It's, it's a kind of annoying sometimes, but as you can tell, no trouble killing these guys. We are using stealth at the moment, so again, as far as the game's concerned, the only thing benefiting this thing's damage is um, adrenaline and like from killing stuff and the unarmed perks anyway. So yeah, this thing, as far as the game concerned, is just basically a swing speed one. So that's all right. Let's see if we can't get ourselves into some trouble. Ah, I, I literally missed a three-star legendary. Well, we'll quickly rectify that. I think I missed another one down there too. So this is where it should be performing. Oh, it's a troubleshooters. No? Oh, it was, but... Well, I, I'm pretty sure I saw something else, but whatever. Okay, so now around the back, we'll just let our AP come back very, very quickly, mind. And then it... Then... I think I'm lagging a bit, because this thing is... My AP bar is a little bit glitchy and slow. Oh, yes, we can one-shot Super Mutant Fighters. Isn't that nice? Okay, that's a master. Screw it. No stealth. We'll just whack him. Do a big old power attack. And this is why I do stealth, by the way, because sometimes... 
they block my attacks and the animations, they don't show up for a bit and it's really confusing. Yeah, attacks just bounce off, so, you know, fighting them with stealth is a good idea to make sure they don't block. That's, that's uh, a thing that I like about it. And we are done from what is the inside or the outside of this place. We'll quickly move on inside and see what we can do. Alright, so now we're inside and hopefully we'll get hit a little bit more so we can actually see this thing do a little bit better than it is now. Ooh, there's two legendaries in here. Sometimes legendary... Ooh, that's a good baseball bat actually. Yes, a good baseball bat. Was there... No, there was a bats enhanced one, that's what I'm thinking of. And as you can tell, we're tanking a little bit easier today because um, I've got gladiator... No, barbarian on. I, I keep calling barbarian gladiator. No, that is not right. So Barbarian, it makes me super tanky, that's why I can do this with unarmed weapons, but melee weapons not so much. And obviously when I've got um, a blocker on, having 45% less damage from those hits means I can actually use this character as a brawler now, despite being a 2 endurance little squishy grognak. That's why I like using those extra survivability perks with unarmed weapons, even though the damage is good enough to use without them. But, yes, having those extra perks on really helps me survive. I would have gotten fucking minced there when it comes to, um, unarmed, or, yeah, if I was using gl the gladiator perks to boost my damage, I'd miss out on those survivability perks, which would be not good. Now, I am at a position where, um, I've got enough adrenaline, I've got enough adrenal reaction, I've got enough unyielding to successfully kill everything in one shot. That was weird. I feel like I lost control of the player for a second there. But as you can tell, having no trouble shooting these, shooting these guys, hitting these guys and one-shotting them now. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because obviously I'm at this level where this thing is doing 627 damage. So really nothing to complain about here. Start adding stealth into the mix and you'll do even better. But yes, despite it, you know, being this good, it's still not a god tier weapon. If I were to show off something like a... Power Fist, doing 932 damage, so that's a big old difference, and I'll probably, s oh, if I can maintain this adrenaline all the way through, I'll uh, quickly switch back the Gladiator cards on so you can see what this thing could be doing with those cards, but in no way I'm actually going to kill anything with those extra Gladiator cards, because I am protesting Bethesda's glitchiness by not engaging in the bugs, because I don't really know if that actually means anything. Probably doesn't. But I think we're right to go into the Hell Room now. By some sheer coincidence, this thing doesn't turn out to be a bug. They actually want it to be like this. It's, it poses an interesting question of whether you want that extra damage, or whether you want that extra survivability from Blocker and... Uh, Barbarian. So, you know, that question in itself is kind of interesting. Is that a troubleshooter's black powder pistol? I think I got one of those from Cat the other day, actually. And there we go, there's our first little stim pack used there. We'll make sure to get ourselves hit a little bit more so we can maintain some of this extra unyielding damage. But, yep, just being a brawler like this, it makes the whole the game a lot easier. I don't have to rely on stealth because I can't get killed super easily, so that's good. But, you know, getting that extra little bits of damage here and there from using stealth, or extra little bits. No, it's a three times multiplier. It's actually heaps. It's good. So, I think you get the point of this weapon so far. Sure, you don't need those bugs to actually make it good. We're back into hidden now. So, 681 will quickly take off some of these perks. In fact, we'll quickly... Try to go through them. I've got 60 seconds to do this. The pressure is on Iron Fist, Master Gladiator, and Martial Artist. And I think I missed the regular Glad... No, the Expert Gladiator. Okay, so 1090 damage versus 1017. So even at this range of bloodied... You're only getting a little bit more damage than you would out of a bloodied Power Fist. So... Even then, you're losing a lot of survivability for a weapon that does less damage anyway, so I don't think this is a god weapon at all. Sure, it does a lot of damage, does slightly more damage, but if I was using the Power Fist, I wouldn't have to use those Gladiator perks to actually increase the damage at all, so... Yeah, god weapon it is not. How many times do I have to say this? Hopefully it's getting through to you. 
All right, we'll move on to some ghouls. We'll stay at this health level because we're doing a lot of damage. All right, so here we are outside the ghouls, and uh, what we probably need to do here is get some diluted right away on, or rad X on. Oh yeah, we've got a spawn, thank god. I was worried because I heard turrets outside and I thought some fucking parasite has set up shop here so he can easily get some kills. Ah, that's too, that's too far away, I can't call that one a parasite. Also, this server's got like no people in it and this is brilliant because that means I can just keep on um, killing stuff without other players getting in my way. Also, it might mean the player base is dying off, so that means more legendaries for me anyway, so I can finally get the single player experience out of this game that I've always wanted. So against these ghoulies, no problem. No problem whatsoever. We can successfully one-shot them. I did run up and do a power attack on the um, bloated glowing fella, but we've got um, glow side on anyway, so I probably didn't even have to do that. So if you're running around in the nuke zone, usually the unarmed players do grab themselves a hazmat suit, and I think that is a viable tactic because obviously you've got um, Barbarian, which is obviously multiplied um, damage threshold, or damage, no, damage threshold, no, no elegant systems of damage exist from that. Also, that level up just sort of cucked my damage, but whatever, we'll keep on going. That's a, ba a poorly timed level up there, game. I could have gated my health with rads, but I couldn't be fucked. Anyways, regardless of that, if we whack him in the noggin, that seems to kill him nice and easy anyway. And I think with these last couple of ghouls, and that one, and this one, kill him before he even hits the ground, he's hanging on for dear life. Well, you're dead two ways now, both as a ghoul and as a person. We're just hanging about, just hanging around. That's one for the fucking cursed images. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And also, I'm going to take a photo of that so I can look at it during loading screens. And, yep, there we go. That's about it for the ghouls. And, yep, this thing did well. But again, there's always a better option just around the corner. Don't have to boost yourself with, you know, unarmed to get that, or gladiator to get that extra damage. So, yeah. Alright, we'll move on to some big monsters. Alright, time to kill spawn. Then I'll probably gate my health with rads so I can actually use that. Um, this thing to its fullest extent against the crabs. That's gotta hurt, Swan. That's gotta hurt like hell. Those, those were critical strikes. The, the game didn't tell us they were critical strikes, but we all know that they were. So yeah, not, not too bad out of the meat hook there. Not too bad at all. But before we do that, someone has started the encrypted event, so um, what I'm going to do is probably get my ass kicked, but this will allow me to, you know, um, sort of th show off or talk about some of my grievances with this particular mode, because um, as you can tell, I'm hiding right now. Um, basically, this thing is going to one-shot me, especially at the health that I am in, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep on sneaking, and then what'll happen is I'll probably hit this thing one or two times. It'll eventually turn around and kill me, but I don't have to worry about that. So if you could just activate that, that's good. And we'll get started on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, don't do this game. So, yep, I'm in caution. Instantly dead, but look at this respawn. I can just respawn three seconds later. Right back into the fray like nothing fucking happened whatsoever. And now the sheep squatch is dead, so basically, I did nothing and I still got rewarded out of that. Great job, that was the fastest kill I've ever seen. And, um, time to move on to some crabbies. And that's payback for winter, you fucking cheap asshole. Oh, I even got a fedora out of that, so now I can milady everybody that I see. I'm gonna say, yes, this is actually a good a tactic against the queen because we all know that queens are women, so we'll be able to woo her with our sexual prowess because we're wearing a fedora. Also, we can talk about how God is not real because we're atheists and only... Fucking hell. Why is there a fucking fedora? That's so dumb. Everybody knows that fedoras are for fucking neckbeards. Who wants to walk around wearing this shit? The only acceptable thing is the silver shroud because that's like his superhero costume. It makes cool sense. Anyways, so everybody tip their virtual fedoras because we're going in for the kill on the queen. 
and we'll see how we go with all of our bloodiness and yeah. So, as you can tell, it's good. It's a good weapon, but we do fall behind in terms of what <laughs> this thing can do. Even if we do boost ourselves with um, gladiator perks, we'll still be doing less damage than we... Um, or we'd, we'd be doing more damage, but we'll have none of the survivability perks that'll actually allow us to tank stuff. So, if you're a squishy unarmed build, and take that fucking fedora off, by the way, I think it kind of defeats the purpose, because you're going to be up in people's faces. No one can do stealth perfectly. You saw that yesterday, but I, I reckon that having those extra survivability perks is well worth losing, what, the extra 97 or so damage. Especially when you're hitting for over a thousand at that point. 97 damage or whatever, maybe even less, is barely even worth it. Oh shit, it's a surprise Ayla Mao. Well, I took off Ninja because I wanted, um, Enforcer to take down a bat, but I'm gonna have to kick your ass without Ninja. Well, looks like I could anyway. Hang on, he had a hairbrush. Does he actually have any hair? No, he doesn't. What a weird thing to hold. Why would aliens be fascinated in hairbrushes? Alright, so I'm probably gonna get the blight out of this, but I don't really give a fuck. We'll get nice and close. Maybe if we get ourselves into caution so he comes down a bit lower, we just shoot him for that. I do use the pump action because it's got a suppressor on it. That actually allows me to maintain sneak through this so I don't have to rely on uh, um, escape artists to actually do well or to get me out of trouble. I don't have concentrated fire on either, so I can't check the status of his wings, but I think I got a couple of hits in. So let's get started. We'll creep in nice and slowly, get a crit ready, hopefully, and we'll whack him. And now he is two-shotted because bloodied and unyielding and nerd rage and adrenal reaction. So again, good weapon, yes. Good weapon. God tier weapon, no. Bugged weapon, yes. God tier, no. Um, so I'm probably gonna give this back to Viper. If he doesn't want it, I'll probably fucking sell it. But uh, yeah, I think you get the idea of this weapon. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. But um, yeah, it falls behind in late game. You could pretty much do well with any. Legendary bloodied unarmed thing with uh, swing speed, but obviously when it comes to weapons that are lower tier by design They're not going to be doing as well, but I think that is about it for this particular video I, I don't know what I got shot by maybe a blade of grass, but there you have it um, If you'd like to see this thing in your game Hopefully uh, people aren't selling this for like fucking heaps anymore. You don't have to trade like your god tier gatling guns for it, but I don't know, maybe this could video could be served as like some sort of Mythbuster episode because contrary to what some people will tell you, it's not a god tier weapon. Thank you for watching guys. Also, if you take a shot for every time I said god tier weapon in this video, you'd probably be fucking dead by right now.